The world of virtual reality continues to level up. I'm Bridget Carey. This is your CNET Update. As we get closer to the launch of Sony's virtual reality gaming headset, it now has an official name. It's called, wait for it, PlayStation VR. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, right? Although PlayStation VR is a pretty predictable name, the code name was cooler. It was called Project Morpheus while in development. Sony confirmed the name on Twitter after announcing it at the Tokyo Game Show and released this video showing off what types of games could be played in virtual reality. The PlayStation VR has two move controller wands that you'll hold to sense your hand gestures. We've been able to test out the prototype versions during various video game conferences. It has a 5.7 inch OLED screen inside with a fast refresh rate to help you not feel so dizzy. Sony still hasn't given a price, but it says it's planning to release the headset sometime early next year. Now, virtual reality is ramping up with headsets coming out soon from HTC and Oculus, which is owned by Facebook. And even if you don't buy a special headset, Facebook is working on bringing something like virtual reality to your phone. The Wall Street Journal reports the social network is working on a video app that supports 360 degree videos, also known as spherical videos. It lets you change your perspective by tilting the phone. So instead of a headset, this is more like using your phone as a window into virtual reality worlds. YouTube also started supporting 360 degree videos and it created a camera rig of 16 GoPros to capture such video. Looking ahead, Microsoft is holding a press event to show off new products on October 6th. It sounds like it's time for some new Surface tablets. You know, the ones with a detachable soft keyboard and a stylus that were around before the iPad Pro. Based on reports, we're expecting a new Surface Pro 4, and Microsoft will be under pressure to show how it's better than the iPad Pro. But maybe we'll see a new version of the fitness tracking Microsoft Band. Also, it's time to see new Lumia phones that run Windows 10, and of course, Everyone is waiting for more details on the HoloLens. That's Microsoft's headset that isn't exactly virtual reality. Instead, the screen shows 3D images in front of your eyes, overlaying objects onto the real world in front of you. It stitches together the virtual world with the real one. Although we've seen a few demonstrations, Microsoft still has not given a price or release date. The fall is a busy time for new gadgets, and LG announced it also is going to have something to show off on October 1st. It could be the recently leaked V10 phone, which is said to have a separate small display under the main screen. The event is movie themed, judging by the invite, so expect some talk about displays. That's it for this Tech News Update. There's always more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.